currently trying to um, come up with my content schedule. Um, I basically had a schedule already that I had set up in my planner where I was going to upload on Sundays and um, Sundays and Tuesdays. But for whatever reason, my view count is not that great on Sundays, but Tuesdays they are. So I'm going to keep Tuesday and I'm trying to figure out what would be the next best day so that's what i'm going back and forth about but i did want to come on here and show y'all kind of how i come up with a schedule for my content whether that's um posting on instagram which i haven't been doing but i plan on doing so i want to get organized with that as well as um the schedule of when I upload videos and what that entails. So basically what I like to do first is I will go into my iPhone and I will go to my notes and I basically use this when I like come up with some idea, you know, randomly. And I know that if I don't write it down, I'm going to forget. And I always have my phone by me. So I use my phone. So in this case, yesterday I came up with, um, this week's vlog and I just had some ideas so I jotted it down. So normally what I'll do go into my planner which this is my 2021 planner that I got from Home Goods and it was only $9.99 and then I'll go in there and transfer those notes into my um, planner and then from there I, every week I can go and look and see what I have to do that week. And so that's pretty much, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I do is just jot those things down here. And as I complete them, I scratch them off. Now, the only issue is I've put down for all of March that I'm going to upload on Sunday, which I'm not going to do. So I'm just going to cross all those out because Sundays just don't work for me and um, keep Tuesday. So yeah, this is pretty much how I stay organized. Um, I used to try to keep everything up here, but that, that just ain't going to work. So this is just a great way to pick you up a planner, you know, whether this is for your business, anything that you're doing, um, I would definitely recommend to stay organized. Or even if you don't want to get a planner, put it, notes in your phone for your ideas so that you can go back and reference that. So I find this is very helpful because sometimes I get super stressed out because I'm trying to like remember and keep everything in my head and it just, I can't remember everything plus my full-time job. So this just helps me. This is actually like a relief, a stress reliever. So I'm able to put everything down on paper, review it, and then go from there. So girl, get you a planner, take your notes, do what you need to do to check some things off of your list and this could even go for things you need to do ship something go to the grocery store write it down like i have a bad habit of trying to remember everything appointments no you need to have it in a planner in your iphone somewhere something so yes that's what i'm doing currently is just looking to see if i've completed everything for wednesday um, or I'm sorry, today's Tuesday. So today I was supposed to show my content and how I keep organized, which I'm doing now. And then today I needed to create a thumbnail, which I've already created earlier today. And then um, I do have on here to redo my previous videos thumbnail because I didn't like the way it came out. So I've already did that as well. And that's it. So I'm pretty much done. And this relief stress for me because I'm always thinking, what could I be doing? Do I have like some important things that I need to do? But 
every day I just write Monday, do this, Tuesday, this, Wednesday, that. And once I see I finish for that day, you're done. Then you can go about your day, not stress out that you didn't complete something that needed to get done. So that's my tip. I just got out the shower and I feel like I've been at the spa all, all day. Let me show y'all what I use. It's just an exfoliator from Clarence, but it's just so invigorating and it leaves like your whole, it leaves your skin just feeling smooth and it smells like you just been at a spa all day. Like I love it. Um, I bought it some time ago. I don't know the price, but I'll leave it in the description box. It's called Clarins. Um, tonic sugar polisher and all you do is use it as a regular exfoliator and I don't even know it has a bunch of good stuff in it but it just has the whole bathroom just smelling like a spa I love it love it love it out of all the exfoliators that I've used that's the one so yeah today is um Wednesday I don't know, I think the 18th, March 18th. And I am on my way to Starbucks, of course. And then when I get back, I will show y'all, um, I'll show y'all something that I got in the mail. This drink just ain't the same. Like I got the vanilla from Starbucks, the vanilla syrup, but it just don't taste the same as the <laughs> vanilla syrup I bought off the of Amazon which is by Starbucks. So I don't know if I didn't put enough in because I told him to put in, um, this time I only did three, two or three pumps, but it ain't enough. So I'm just going to put a little bit more up in there. And let's, let's see how that tastes because it just is blah. I'm very particular about my Starbucks drinks. I ain't just going to drink the drink. It has to be good. See? Yeah. Something about this vanilla syrup is different from the vanilla syrup at the actual Starbucks. This Now it tastes good. Now it tastes like it's supposed to taste like last time. And you only need a little, so I don't get what either they didn't put it in. Let me look at this sticker. It said, oh, I only got two pumps vanilla, and they probably like put little drops of vanilla. Hmm. Anyway, like I told y'all, I have something to show y'all, which is my Tom Ford book came, and it's heavy as shit. Look at Okay. <laughs> this book is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Okay. All right, y'all. So it's a little dusty, the plastic, but this is it. I mean, this book, I don't even know, got away like 15 pounds. So let me go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it comes nice and sealed. Ooh, this just look. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> okay. This was the original book that I got. So look at this. <laughs> like, what is this? I didn't even notice this till now. Look at this cheap crap compared to when you invest and buy the real thing. Like, this is two different levels. Anyway, um, so as you can see, well, you probably can't tell, but this is like a case to the real book. So this is just a case, which is crazy. So if I pull this up, this would be the actual book. 
And then as you can see, the classic Tom Ford spine, that's how the spine should look. And then a picture of him on the back. Wow, this book is heavy. Oh my, God. Oh, look at the pictures, y'all. Look at these pictures. This is some real high fashion stuff. Oh my gosh. Eve is in here. What? Okay, so this is basically taking you down a timeline of his designs. That is so cool. Okay. Wow. All right. I think I like Tom Ford even more. You know, because a lot of these designers, you know, you hear about them and them being racist and making mockeries of black people in their designs. But I mean, he got black people in his damn um, J-Lo's in here in his book. This is a very nice book, y'all. I will say that <laughs> I would definitely recommend to get this book. I would definitely tell y'all to get this book. Oh, so what he has is he's showing celebrities that wore his um, outfit, some of his designs. Look at J-Lo. I remember this dress. Does it give the timeline of when this was? This is really neat. Like this is really, really, really neat really neat oh, okay so 2000s wow yeah if I um, would recommend a book like if you're into designing you know you want to design a bookcase I think I might get two of these and this was like 80 something bucks on um, Amazon but this is heavy so I'm gonna set it up now on my table and I don't even, I just want to keep it somewhere, but I bought, I bought this book to put it on the table. So let me go ahead and situate that and I'll show y'all the final look. So, um, I think CB2, they're like a real sleek, they're like a real sleek modern type website and I'll link them below, but they have some really cute candle holders. They're kind of pricey. But I'm going to check on there or I got to look at this freaking eyelash. <sighs> this is crazy. I'm like, why is my eye itching? I ripped it out. Oh, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. now my eye watering. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to go right now on CB2. Um, or West Elm and see if they have some candle holders because that one's all right, but I'm not feeling it on this table. And the last time I checked, CB2 had some really cute candle holders. So yeah, that's it. I'm loving that. That Tom Ford book is everything. Please get that book. If you're into designing with books, please get that book or just to have it if you love fashion because it's really neat. I didn't even know anything about Tom Ford back in the early 2000s because I was in high school and couldn't afford it, obviously. But yeah, so I'm about to go on there now and I'll show y'all what I found if I find anything. We are on our way to the AT&T store. I'm trying to make sure this camera be making me look orange. I done did something to the settings. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to try to get this iPhone 12, so we'll see how it goes. I don't even know the colors. What are the colors for the iPhone 12, Anaya? It don't even matter because I wear, have a case on it all the time anyway. So I'm back from the AT&T store. And um, they didn't have the phone that I wanted in stock. So it'll be here either tomorrow or um, it'll be here either tomorrow or Saturday. I got the iPhone 12, not the mini, but the one that the size up after the mini. I didn't want the pro because it's way too big. And um, I got it in the color red. I really didn't care about what color because 
I have a case on it anyway, but over by the AT&T store is a bookstore. My daughter wanted to go in there. I did it, but then I remembered that um, Sister Soldier came out with the sequel for The Coldest Winter Ever. If you have never read that book, what rock have you been living under? That book went crazy. It was so popular. That book came out like 15 to 20 years ago. And everybody has been waiting for the sequel of the book. Um, so she actually came out with the sequel, what, this month. And it's called Life After Death. And so I'm excited to read that. But if you have not read The Coldest Winter Ever, I don't care if you're not an avid book reader, please read that book. I've been hearing mixed reviews about this book, but I did listen to an interview that Sister Soldier, who's the author, gave on the book. And she basically said, like, if I would have wrote this book and made it predictable, what would be the point? Then if you could figure out what I'm going to put in the book before you read it, then it's no good. She says she wanted to make the book be unpredictable. So I'm excited. I'm going to read the whole book. I don't care about the reviews, the critics. I'm going to come up with my own um opinion after I've read every single page. All I have to show y'all, I just got some random package. Well, really a free box from Harry and David. And I'm like, if you know Harry and David, they sell like um gift, like edible gift boxes. So like popcorn, gift boxes, chocolate, all kinds of stuff for different occasions. And I did like one or two orders from them over that's this COVID time span. And they just sent the box that says, thank you for continuing to contribute to our success during these uncertain times. Oh, I'm so stupid. This is from my job. Okay. Hello. Oh, that was. I thought you meant your job, but you said management. So I was like, I'm oh. thinking it's the management. I'm like, I've never seen a company that you order from send you something from free unless you're promoting them. But, um, oh, so this is from my job, y'all, my nine to five. So I got some popcorn. It looks like some like soft little sugar cookies or shortcake cookies, a summer sausage. <laughs> and um, some mixed nuts, premium mixed nuts. And there's some sharp white cheddar cheese that needs to immediately go into the refrigerator because it's going, it's kind of soft. That was nice. Thank you, J-O-B. I am really feeling a little table design. Um, I actually flipped the books. Let me show y'all. I actually flipped the books because when I thought about it, I'm like the spine should be facing the outside so that when you walk into this space, you can see the book spine from the outside. Like it shouldn't be facing the inside, if that makes sense. But I really like how this came out. Like I'm just sitting here on my couch. And if I zoom in, that just looks so classy. Like, I really like how the sculpture, the body handle, how everything just came together. And then as y'all can see, my Tom Ford, the cover is over there. We doing it. Don't mind that. That thing on the chair is my air purifier because they recommend that you put it on top of something instead of um, on the floor so that it can get all of the crap floating around in the air better than with it sitting on the floor. But I got to figure out somewhere else to put that than on this chair but back to this i'm loving it i did find another candle holder on cb2 but i want to go to home goods because i want to see if they have something similar i mean it's not that expensive on cb2 but i just want to be for sure because i was thinking too i don't know if you've seen those like marble spears or like circles but I think I want some black ones to put like going on the back of that table. I know I'm doing so much to this table, but I'm like envisioning different things that I could do. So 
Again, these are just little accents that you could do in your house. Like this is where I spend the majority of my time. Or if we have guests where they would spend the majority of their time. So I just want like little pieces that stand out. You know, when you go into someone's home or and you look, you want to like accentuate or like have accent pieces that keep people like looking around like, ooh, that is nice. And ooh, that's nice. Like you don't want it to look overly cluttered of course with just all kinds of stuff so you have to have some kind of design scheme and in here my um design scheme was more like a modern um what, what do you call it um not sweden i don't like sweden but um oh it's at the tip of my damn tongue what is it called not sweden but um shoot not sweden oh I can't even think of it. Icelandic, not Icelandic, whatever it is. Uh-uh. Y'all, I got to figure this out, what this is. Um, I can't even think of it. What is it called? Is this? Oh, Scandinavian. Like I'm trying to go for like a Scandinavian type vibe in here. So, um, yeah, I just want like pieces that stand out, you know, but still have everything like be cohesive and, and blend in together. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I got these, um, paintings here a while ago and I thought the, the, um, frames would be, I thought the frames would like be gold trimming, but they're like a natural, but I like it. I'm actually glad they came like that, but yeah, I'm starting to really feel this area. And again, like I've told y'all, I want to move, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there right now. So I'm just trying to make this place as nice as possible until we get that figured out. But yeah, I really like how that table came out. It's not done, y'all, but that's just what it is for now. So, yeah. Hmm. I got to learn how to hold the camera like this because I've been looking at my videos and I'm always like this. And then on the computer, it looks like I'm just so close. So, camera like this. But anyway, I'm just frying up some shrimp. I've already um, depilled them or whatever you call it. I got um, this deep fryer that I love by All Clad. And I'm going to fry some fries and the shrimp in here. I used to always deep fry everything, of course, on the stove. But I hate it because the oil gets all over the floor. So having this um, deep fryer is a blessing. So... I'm just going to do that. I was thinking about making some coleslaw because it's easy to make um, and I have it and I don't want it to go back because I made some um, coleslaw and shrimp probably a week or so ago. <sighs> I don't feel like it because I barely feel like cooking now, but I guess I'll go ahead and make the damn coleslaw because everyone in the house likes it. But yeah. I'm just waiting for the oil to heat up. And then, of course, I was just thinking, you know, like how crazy, not crazy in a good way life is. And how, you know, if you really put your mind to something, like you can be successful at it. I started my business probably uh, in 2018 and I just had an idea and it became successful. I didn't put 100% into it, but if I would have it would be in a whole nother, like on a whole nother level by now of success. So I just want to encourage you all, like, it's just crazy how if you put your mind to something and you put your heart and soul into it, you can be successful and you can have anything you want in this world. It just takes your faith. It takes you um, always showing up even when the chips are down. Because believe me, having this business, the chips have been down. <laughs> and I have cried, shed blood, shed blood, sweat, and tears on this business. And I've seen it go up and down. But I'm learning on uh, what I need to do to keep it consistent. So 
it's just crazy thinking all the things that I've learned over the years and being older. And I know some people are like, oh, I'm getting older. I embrace it because I know that I've learned so much, you know, and I'm more comfortable with myself and more optimistic and looking forward to things than I was back in my 20s, you know, looking forward to what more life has to bring. So I just encourage you all to, you know, live out your dreams, do what you want to do because life is short and you know, you never know when your time, when your clock is going to expire. So just live life and do do what you want to do as long as it's positive, kids. About to burn my damn. Oh, y'all can't. Quick, I'm like, I want to show them my, um, how I do my coleslaw is really good. Um, all I do is take some mayonnaise, and I would say like I have a I'm heavy handed, but I would say maybe two little spoonfuls. I use this big of a spoon, but just depending on how creamy you like yours, I'm just gonna. You can always add. That's the thing. So don't do too much because you can always add more in. And then um, you want two. I'm going to do because there's not a lot of coleslaw in this bowl. So I'm going to just do like one, one and a half tablespoons apple cider vinegar. And this is like, this is so easy, y'all. And I usually do make coleslaw. I'm going to just do a little bit more because last time I made it, it was good, but it was kind of soupy. I put too much liquid and then um some celery salt this celery saw salt yeah you need the celery salt okay so sprinkle a little bit of that however much you want and I'm gonna just use a little bit of regular sea salt and then um, some black pepper And then some um, Dijon mustard. And again, put as much as you want to taste in it. That's the good thing about this is that you don't, I mean, you don't have to go with the exact amount. So again, I always just start off with a little, I just start off with a little bit. And then I taste as I go. And to mix it together, if you want to add a little lemon juice, you can. But I don't find the need to because the apple cider vinegar is going to give you that tart flavor. And that's it, kids. Just mix it up. And you got yourself some fire coleslaw. Like you'd have been to some restaurant. And that's how it looks. Oh my God, y'all. Please forgive me. I forgot to tell y'all because I'm trying to do this fast. Um, sugar, you need sugar. If you don't like your coleslaw that sweet, do not put a lot of sugar, but you definitely need to add sugar. And then onion powder, if you like that onion flavor. I love it. This um, this uh, coleslaw kind of reminds me of the, co the coleslaw at KFC. And I really love that coleslaw. So yes, if you like the coleslaw at KFC, Please put in a dash of sugar and some onion powder. So we have apple cider vinegar, onion powder, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, um, celery salt, sea salt, and black pepper. That's it, I promise this time.
Why well, do the every time I deep fry something, the second batch always looks better? Look at this batch. If it would focus, what, what batch is this? The second one compared to this, like you can see the pink coming through, but on these it's more batter. I don't understand that. Like it's always that second batch. I don't know if it's something with the oil is hotter or what, but. Anyway, y'all, I'm making my plate. Yes, sir. Ghetto cooking. What is it? Ghetto tails on TikTok? Ghetto tails. What is it? Hood, hood meals? Hood meals. <laughs> yeah, hood meals. He is hilarious. If y'all watch hood meals on TikTok, but he doesn't do them no more, huh? He used to, like, cook out of this dirty, filthy... um. Something happened to his RV and he had to like, in his dirty trailer and the sink and everything was filthy. And he, would, <laughs> he would cook everything in an air fryer. I'm going to show a clip right here. Good meals, yes sir. Shout out to my chicken bridge cool. Want to get you some bed? You want to start it up in there? Put the chicken breast in there. Yes, sir. Want to get these? Oh, yes, sir. He would, as you can see, nasty. And his favorite line is, yes, sir. So I've been saying that now. Why is this episode like three after, um, I'm watching Atlanta Housewives, y'all. But why is this episode like three after Cynthia's bachelorette party? And Kenya is still talking about what Portia and um Miss Thing, I don't even know her name, what they were doing with Bolo. Like, girl, get over it. Like, they're grown. If they want to be hoes for the night, let them be hoes. I do not get her. She's so, ain't, you know, so negative because her marriage ain't working out that she want to put everybody else on blast. Like, girl, get over it. That's their business. She's so petty. I used to like Kenya, but she's starting to become annoying this season. Crazy. Okay, so I am on westelm.com looking at stuff that I really shouldn't even be looking at. But anyway, um, what I like to do is go to these popular stores that are, go that are going to sell um, like things that are in style at the moment and just kind of get a feel for what's like in style as far as home decor. And then from there, once I get a feel of the things that are kind of popping right now in home decor, then I'll just make a mental note of the different things that I like. And then I will, um, Go to places like Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx, and try to find these things because more than likely, a lot of these um, discounted stores like Home Goods, they're going to be ordering similar pieces like this um, that are also popular. But I like to get my ideas from the expensive stores and then go find them in Home Goods. So this is just a good idea to do if you're kind of lost. And you want to decorate um, an area in your home <clears throat> or you want to get some furniture pieces and you don't really know what your theme is. I would suggest to just go to, you know, any store, any high end store that you could think of and go look online and look at the stuff that they're um, that they're selling during that time. And then from there, try to find pieces that you like and don't buy it. Um, for the high expensive price, but go to places like I mentioned, Home Goods and TJ Maxx and whatever other discounted store. I mainly go to Home Goods. I know there's a sister store for Home Goods, but we don't have that where I'm at. So I just venture to all the Home Goods in my area, which there's only two near me. But um, anyway, like this, I'm really loving these. Um, like anything that's all white with that matte finish, like these vases, that is really popular. These have actually been popular, like the white vases and the white sculptures for some time. 
Um, but these are wonderful. And as you can see, each one of these at minimum is starting at 110. And I bet you if you go into Home Goods during the week, I would suggest and look around. I'm pretty sure you could find it. Just like I found that sculpture, which was only 24 bucks. I bet you if I went on West Elm, which I'm on right now, it would be at least 50 bucks um, for that sculpture. So this is what I'm doing. Just online looking at um, how I can spend some more money. So, of course, I just got some things um, delivered to me. Well, one box delivered to me. And um, the highlight is two... Ooh, my nose is itching. So I got two things um, from this order. The first one, so, you know, Baccarat, if you don't know, it's like a really popular perfume. And, um... Uh, Baccarat and so when I ordered it I ordered the travel sizes because I saw the price for it and I think it's like 400 bucks and I'm like I'm not paying that much and I don't even know if I'm gonna like it so I um ordered the travel sizes ended up loving it but I got a bunch of travel sizes because it comes with four so I won't need no Baccarat Rouge for a minute. So I decided to try another travel size um, of this brand. They're the ones that make Mason Francis is the one that makes the Baccarat. So they have a new one. I don't know if it's new actually, but it's called Satin Mood. And so I got it in the um, in the travel size. And they come this big, so you're getting a, a good amount of perfume in these. And it says they're 0 0.37 full ounces. So I have not sprayed it. I'm going to spray it with y'all. Let's see. Let me let it dry so I can give y'all my true opinion. Hmm. You can definitely smell it. You can tell that it's an expensive perfume for sure. Um, it's called Satin Mood, which I can for sure, I for sure understand why they named it that. Um, it smells good. Do I like it more than the Baccarat Rouge? No. But this is definitely um, a night, an evening perfume. I don't think I would wear this during the day. Um, it's, it's a nice scent. It is definitely a nice scent. I'll definitely um, have this in rotation. And this cost me, I want to say like, I don't know. I want to say like 180. I'm really not for sure, but I'll definitely leave the link. And I ordered all this stuff that I'm going to show you from um, Bloomingdale's. It's like a very fresh smell. I can say that much. Um, and they don't give you the notes. So I'm going to leave the notes here <laughs> for this perfume. Um, so the next thing that I got, and really the only other thing I got out of this order, was the um, Coco Chanel Body Cream. Okay, it's not going to focus because it's probably too shiny. But anyway... I got the Coco Chanel body cream, and I felt like I wanted a high-end body cream. And so, come on now, Chanel. Oh, look at this. Look at the packaging. Just classic. Classic Chanel. Love it. So, I have um, smelled Coco Chanel before. That's one of their classic, classic scents. So... Woo, and there's some good reviews on this body cream. Um, hence the reason that I did order it because it was about 80 bucks for this. But oh, let's see how it feels on the hands. I'm like real big on how does it feel. Feels good. And you can smell the hints of Coco Chanel, but it's not strong. Like, it's just enough to where it's not, like, overbearing. And if you wanted to spray another one of your scents on, a different scent, you can. Since it's a light um, Coco Chanel scent in the cream. 
So I really like it. My hands feel moisturized and they look moisturized. So good purchase. And then of course, you know, they give you some samples that I really rarely use. They gave me some Chanel, um, some Chanel lipstick in the shade Timeless. So it's like a red shade. So when I feel like wearing red, maybe I'll try this, but I'm more into matte red lipstick and this is a shine but never know we'll see but yeah so that's what i got um i do like that satin mood Ooh, see it's growing on me I, I really can't give you guys a real opinion on that satin mood until i wear it a couple times and let it like seep in because that's the thing with the mason um the Mason Francis perfumes is you got to kind of let it work with your um, body and then see how it smells because the scent can change over um, time. So, yeah, I do like it, but not better than the Baccarat Rouge. That's for sure. I got two phones. Uh, 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 uh. No, this is my iPhone X, y'all. I cannot find the holster to my car. It's really getting on my nerves. This is my iPhone um, X and this is the 12. The only reason why I got it, like I said, was because the camera is way better. But then I'm like, I should have got the Pro. What's the difference between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone I think it's Pro Max? No, they, oh, no, the Pro Max has four cameras. Damn. Oh, well. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, because the guy who came over said that um, the Pro Max is what they use for their commercials, the Apple commercials. They only use the Pro Max camera. Oh, well, I'm going to be happy with what I have. But if you guys have like an iPhone 8 or anything, please just skip over and get you an 11 or 12. It has three cameras. Don't get this 10. Look. This 10 camera is Look. shitty. No, he said, who Who's knows? <laughs> Either way... I got my iPhone, new iPhone 12. I got it in red. Yeah, you uh, better not comment. I just commented. <laughs> and um, red, but I don't like you automatically. We are on our way to get some food from Greenville. Granville. Granville. I've been there one time for breakfast. It was, you know, mm -hmm. I. She went from other part of my kids. Nothing too special. But um, they are normally crowded for dinner. So I figured I would see what is all the crowdedness for. So yeah, anyway, I can't find my holster. I'm irritated. I'm not gonna be holding this while I'm driving. So I will see y'all and show y'all my food when I get back, maybe. Good afternoon, y'all. Um, I feel like this video is going to be like a luxury skincare type haul because I got another box in. And today, <laughs> as you can see, is the next day. Um, but I've been ordering, you know, now that I'm in my 30s child, like I feel like I want to make sure that my skin is in tip top shape. Um, I'm not really going to be going to try spending all this money on going to an esthetician because my skin, to me, I maintain my skin great from home with um, some of these products. So like I was telling y'all how I like to use Lancer, their moisturizer. I got another one and I know in my last vlog, I told y'all it's expensive, but this is probably the best um face moisturizer you'll get like and i've used them all bobby brown i i used to use two from bobby brown the vitamin c and then um the other one that's like thicker that's almost used as like a base before you put on like your makeup but i've used them all um i've used the one that's real popular that uh aqua bomb or whatever then that's a pretty good moisturizer too, but ain't nothing topping this Lancer. Bam. Ooh. 
and it doesn't smell like absolutely nothing so you know they're not putting all those additives no perfume my camera about to die so let me pop in another battery okay so yes um and it says on the back this ultra light moisturizer delivers essential hydration day or night to blemish prone or oily skin without clogging pores which is important or causing breakouts oil controlling ingredients because i do have oily skin especially when i wear makeup it helps to regulate um sebum and keep pores clear of blemish causing impurities while delivering potent anti-aging benefits um so i do have it on right now and my face is not oily it feels moisturized i have um always had an issue with moisturizer especially when you try to go cheap where it feels tight or it doesn't feel like it's really moisturizing and then um as i got older i started peeling in my eyebrows and stuff i haven't seen any peeling since using this stuff and so they also give you a pamphlet in the inside that contains like all of their different um skincare product from their line so that stuff is amazing of course as always i will link it at the bottom and then another product from this brand um, that I did enjoy that I used to use a long time ago is the Method Polish. And this is another winner. And I can't open it because <laughs> I don't have any scissors near me, but it says this daily, so you can use it daily. Skin Polish is a skin resurfacing treatment and the first step in the Lancer method. So there is three steps to this, but I do not find that I need the three steps. I don't even know what the other step is, but I feel like with this polish alone and that moisturizer, that's all you need. And I'm telling y'all, y'all skin is going to feel like a baby. So it says formulated with the two prong approach to exfoliation, this unique polish includes pure, miner pure minerals and pumpkin and pomegranate enzymes to gently and effectively remove debris and dull dry surface skin. A warming element and lavender scent complete this luxurious daily ritual. So, and again, this is for, they have them for different, I don't know if they have them for different combinations, skin combinations or skin types, but this one is for normal to combination skin. And no exfoliator on the planet that I've tried compares to this. And, you know, as you start to, you know, when you're in your 20s and stuff, you can afford to buy cheaper skincare products and you're okay. But as you get older, you start to see fine lines and your skin texture changing. It is imperative that you invest in your skincare. So even though it's a little pricey, I know a little goes a long way and my skin is gonna thank me for it. Um, the next thing I got that came in this cute little pink bag, um, and I got all this stuff from skincare, what is it, skinstore.com? Something like that, I'll link it at the bottom, but I got this micro needle derma pen system and basically this is what they use when you go to see the esthetician and this helps with fine lines it um, helps result in smoother firmer healthier and younger looking skin and reduces the signs of aging it has five speeds and yes it is a needle but um the needle so small that you won't even feel it and this also helps that helps to um help better penetrate the products that you're putting on your skin so you know i'm gonna do a whole nother video yes i'm gonna try this i've seen great reviews on it and of course i'll let y'all know how i'm feeling it but um i do have a few fine smile lines and um some skin texture corrections that i want to make so this is supposed to be great for that and then um the next thing i got is these hydro cool firming um eye gels so you're supposed to leave these on for 10 minutes to help firm depuff and reduce the signs of premature age and right now if you spend a certain amount at the skinstore.com and i'm gonna have to look and let y'all know so look in the description box if they're still gonna have this promotion by the time this video goes up but they give you a whole beauty bag y'all and it's not just the bag there's actually products in here 
Oh my God. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> OMG, y'all. Okay, skin store. I got um Fido, which is a good brand. Some shampoo and um shampoo and some shampoo by Fido. Um, Anti-wrinkle intensive eye concentrate by Strivectin. I mean, these are big brands in here. What is this? Hmm, something. Um, I got an eyebrow. Ooh, y'all, I've been wanting to um get the hair off my face. For it's called dermaplaning. I got one of those. Okay. I got this is gonna be great, great for Vegas for my birthday trip. Um, I got some Norshim Probiotic Gel Cream, Philip B Shampoo, and then the Fido Moisturizing Hair Mask. I mean, this just goes on and on, y'all. Wow, I got some face mask in here, a daily body scrubber. Wow, this is amazing. I have never, you know when you order and they're like, oh, you get a free sample bag and all that. It has never been to this extent. Um, BioEffect EGF Serum for approved appearance of skin. Um, what else is up in here? Wow. Ren, which I heard of, Overnight Glow Dark Spot. I can go on and on. So this is worth it. And then look at the bottom. Like this is a high quality bag. Okay. I think I'm going to be um, continuing to buy my skincare products from Skin Store. This is amazing. So yeah, y'all, that's all I got. Um, I'm like, did I get anything else in the mail? No, I don't think I'm expecting anything. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been trying to do is just like figure out what's my routine for my skincare. And so I'm definitely interested in trying this because um, micro needle. I'm not even going to get into it because this is like a whole nother video. But yeah, it says professional results in three minutes. So we going to see how this works out. But yeah, today is Friday. I'm busy. It's 2 o'clock. I got to finish some work here. And then um, later on, we're going to, I don't know if your city is doing it, but Stranger Things, which my daughter loves. I got into season one and two, but I didn't get to catch season three. They're doing like these drive through things where they're playing out scenes and it's supposed to be cool, so we're going there later on. So I'm gonna try to film. I don't I know they're not allowing filming, so I'm gonna try my best. And yeah, I'll see y'all then. I bought these tickets like it's, so you have to reschedule. I think I bought these tickets six, eight months ago. Who knows? Oh, you know. And now they have only like 15 tickets left. Um, for this event and it's been going on for like a whole year now I'm not driving for once y'all I can chill in the past am I driving back nope. of course I knew I'd be driving back what's for dinner whatever you cooking no. so what you cooking Yeah, it's all about the music. So, Tigers, I want to find out who here was all about the music during their... Ew! Fucking real bootleg! <laughs> code this red. Repeat, code red. <laughs> I can catch the monster. It's called a Demogorgon. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Right! <laughs> Wait a minute, stupid. I am done. Done! What is he doing up there? Uh-uh. <laughs> Dead.
understand none of this. None huh? of this at all. No, no. I have never. Seen I haven't watched this. season three, so I'm lost too. Well, I didn't watch season yeah, one, two, or. <laughs> Little ass fish, but I, it's like, what's going on? We had a rave party, y'all. Rave party! Yep, upside down. What is this? Upside down. Nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs> this is not even in the, the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ocean scene anywhere. <laughs> wow. Are you sure? Yes. There is no ocean. What? Oh, wait, no, but this is the memory of her mom. Their mind. <laughs> Y'all, that was so bootleg. <laughs> I spent $150 on some bootleggedness. Number one, it was like most of the show was just watching what you could watch on Netflix. It was a bunch of running around, strobe lights, as y'all saw. I'm like, I'm done with these drive through car events. Like until the world goes back to normal, you won't see me at no events because it was like, what is this? I was confused the whole show. Huh? <sighs> Whatever. I guess it was nice to get out the house. Now we're going to get some food. Um, yeah. I'm back in the car. Hear that engine? Woo, 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 woo! back in my car high car i will never buy a car in my life unless it's a rolls royce i love being high up no you didn't you gotta be a w yeah but i said i'll never buy another car another you won't buy another car uh, oh, shut up <laughs> anyway so i'll see y'all probably tomorrow what is up y'all um, no you don't. Get the hell up out of here. Go to the light. Go to the light. Damn that in my car. Anyway, y'all know where I'm going. It's Saturday. I done got um, inspired, some decor inspiration. So I'm headed to Home Goods to see if they have um, what I'm looking for. Gas is looking okay. So yeah, and then this one, the Anaya want to go and drop off some coins because she thinks she done made it rich. So we'll we're gonna go do that. And yeah, that is it. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, just a freaking idiot. Stop in the middle of the road. Why do people wear their mask in the car? My fiance does that. It's like you're in the car. <laughs> Maybe they forget, I don't know. But anyway, do y'all ever have them days where you just wake up and you're just like mad at the world? Like I woke up early. I cooked breakfast, I took a nap, and I just woke up and I'm just irritated. Like, I just want to cuss somebody out. And I don't know why. Like, I'm just, ugh. Do y'all have them days? Do you have them days? 
Like, I don't know. I get those days every now and then. I'm not on my period. I just feel like irritated. Or at the next home goods that's closer to my house. I thought I would have luck at the one in the Ritzy area, but no. Oh, they got a Marshalls too. Oh. <laughs> anyway, oh, no, I don't want to go. I'm basically looking for these marble spears. They have these marble spears at CB2, one of them, but they're like $30 each. I'm not paying $30. If I could just find these marble spears, because I want to put them like on the, not the table I've been showing y'all, but that other one with the gold vases, I want to put the marble spears there. And I also am looking for like one of those gold, a gold, one of those matte chain links. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're like enlarged and they're like chains. Bomb. And I saw this decor scheme where they had it on top of an open book and it was just amazing. So I highly doubt they're going to have it, but. And I highly doubt they're going to have it in Marshalls. But let me get up in this store. I don't want to go to Marshalls. Y'all, today is just not my day. I can't find the thing to uh, hold up the camera so I can show y'all. So Home Goods was a fail. I couldn't find anything. But I did go into Marshalls and got stuff that I didn't need. The first thing that I got from Marshalls was this... Um, I think back in the day they were called caboot, caboodles. I can't remember, but anyway, I need somewhere when I'm traveling to put all of my makeup and stuff. So isn't this hella cute? I'm taking it back um, old school, y'all, with this. So this will be good for my Vegas trip to put all my skincare and brushes and all that in here. So yeah, so this was... $9.99 and Target it would have been a million dollars um I also got this cute cute tie-dye dress y'all uh, uh, please <laughs> this is gonna be cute to wear like you know when you're mm. just chilling when I'm in the sitting in the car for three hours on the way to Vegas or just out and about like this is super cute and then it has like a little scoop design at the bottom I like this and wear it with a cute little jean jacket okay so if y'all don't know by now I love yeah. me a good uh, lounge pants so I did get these little cute pink um, tie-dye okay, pants girl and they were $30. So I'm interested to know how much. Oh, these compare at $45. These are some damn expensive pants to be up in Marshall. So $30 for those. And I have some little shorts. Uh, Shut up. I'm all, I'll, put my, I'll put my, all my own clothes. And then I got another pair of lounge pants. I'm always in loungewear when I'm working during the week, and these were $24.99, and they feel so freaking soft, and they have the little cuffs at the bottom. So if y'all know, Marshalls is the plug to get all of your um, hair products for cheap, so I did get this um, Argan Oil with Moringa Oil Blend Shampoo. Um, it's sulfate and paraben um, free for $7.99 and this is by Chi. This is by Chi. So y'all know that Chi products are expensive as hell. This probably would have been about $20 bucks if I would have got this out of Sally's. Um, and then I love, love, love this deep conditioner. They I like suck. to put this on my real hair. This is the Macadamia Natural, um, Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So this is really good, y'all. And I got this for $19.99. And they claim that it's $40. Bucks, so I'm going to look into that. Because that, that was still kind of expensive. I also got um, Redken. That's another really good brand. Because when I like to straighten my hair, I like it to be sleek. And this is um, a good mask. It says a frizz dismiss mask. So I got this, and this was $14. So I did still kind of pay for these products, but 
it probably would have been double the price at um, the regular hair supply store. I also got some shaving cream because I needed some. I buy Cremo $4.99. Um, I needed some more makeup remover wipes. These um, are $4.99 by serious. Neutrogena. Um, you know, Easter's right around the corner, so when you go into these stores, everything is Easter mm. themed. So I got me some Jelly Belly Spring um, <laughs> Spring Mix. And then Laneige, I think I'm saying that right, but they're like a really popular brand for like lip care, for um, skin care, and they sell this in Sephora, so I found the lip sleeping mask in Barry. And if y'all know, this stuff is really, really like popular, so I got it for $14.99, and they claim that it's originally $25. So I'm gonna look at these prices, cause I'm like, now that I'm looking, this stuff was kind of expensive. And then, I got this candle, which I know I just bought some candles, y'all. But this candle was, um, smells amazing. Oh, somebody on. dug in it. Just a little bit. Exactly. Anyway, it's called Jelly Beans, and it smells just I'm like what you would her. imagine jelly beans to smell like. Sweet, fruity, and sugary. First? It has, um... Bro, what? Pink strawberry, zesty citrus, pineapple, juicy grape splashed over raspberry and sugar cake. And I'm telling y'all, this candle really smells like it. So if you could find this candle at Marshall's and it was only $6.99, oh <laughs> I just hope that it uh, burns and smells up the place like it smells because it, it smells amazing. So I don't know where I'm going to put this, y'all, but I just thought this was like everything. So it's going somewhere. And then I just got some Auntie Jackie's moisturizing and softening shampoo for um, Anaya's hair. It says deep moisturizing um, and detangling hair bath for chronically dry hair enriched, enriched with shea butter and olive oil. So I'm like, okay, I haven't tried this. I've tried Auntie Jackie's products and they're pretty good. So yeah, I got everything but those damn spears, y'all. But it's all good. I'm going to keep looking for them online. Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday, fun day. And I am here trying to hang a light over my um, artwork in the living room. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen where like um, if you go into certain homes, like I've seen it in model homes Obviously, museums have it, but it's like a light that arches over. Let me show y'all. That arches over your art. And I just, it brings like a certain ambiance to your living room. It makes it to me look very classy. And if all the lights are off and you just have that light on, it just, I don't know, it just looks so good. So I bought, found one on Amazon and it's cordless and it comes with the remote so you can dim it, you can brighten it, you can cut it off, you can put it on a timer with the remote. So, hey, I thought it would be a good little um, <clears throat> accent to add in. So that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, I had to actually tape down the picture that's in the middle of the wall because that's where... The um, light's going to hang is from this picture, and we didn't drill any holes in to hang these pictures. We just used that heavy-duty double-sided tape, but we're going to have to drill holes to put in this light. So, yeah, this is the before, and I will show y'all how it looks afterwards. This is harder than I thought. We had to, first we screwed some holes. We didn't measure it right, so it was like lower... Then the um, the middle picture was lower than the other two pictures, so we had to unscrew, take the screws out the wall, and now we're, we think we got it this time. And now we're gonna try to hang it again, so I'll show y'all in a minute. So here's the final look, y'all. Doesn't that look so elegant? And this um, 
goodness, I can't think. This vent, air vent, I'm changing that out. I found the website that um, they hand make like elegant looking air vents. So this is going because it's old and to me it puts focus on um, now more than ever on that old looking air vent. But anyway, this is it y'all. And I think I spent... I want to say 85 or 90 bucks on this light and you can dim it too so look with the remote to how bright you want it if I want it bright turn it back up this is a very cool concept and it's freaking wireless all we had to do was drill the holes to hang it add some batteries to the remote and the light and bam You've added a nice little accent to your wall. I think I'm gonna do this same thing in the dining room because I saw some really nice art at Neiman Marcus. So I think I'm going to um, do the same thing, but I think, I don't know, I may add, they also have them where they go all the way across because I'm gonna do two frames. So we'll see what I end up doing, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and as always if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button like comment and I will see y'all in my next video bye babe